Hi, today is Friday, March 3rd. Happy Friday. I just got a Scentsy delivery in the mail, so I wanted to jump on and share it with you. So this is actually my last purchase from the fall winter catalog. I also stocked up on a few Bring Back My Bars. So um, I'll just dive in and I already unloaded everything, so I'll go ahead and start with the wax. So from the January Bring Back My Bar that was extended through February, I did pick up three bars of Q cucumber lime. I really liked this one when I first smelled it. I haven't warmed it yet. I was kind of waiting for the spring because this is a very bright scent. It's very bright, very green. It actually reminds me a lot of Flower Shop or Rainforest Bungalow, a very kind of jungly kind of smell. But when I like break it open, I do smell a lot more of that lime note. So I get a lot of a very, very green cucumber. To me, it smells kind of like a jungly scent with that little kind of twist of lime. So I thought this one would be really great for the spring and I'm excited to warm these in March. And then I picked up four bars of spiced berries. I really enjoyed this one. This is a very kind of deep, sophisticated berry scent. You get a lot of this kind of spicy incense note from the frankincense and myrrh. It's a really great winter berry scent. I really enjoyed warming this one in January, so I did want to stock up a little bit on that one. And then I picked up three bars of Autumn Stroll. This is another one that I really liked from this round of Bring Back My Bar. I actually haven't warmed this one yet. I think I'll probably hold off until fall. But this is a very sophisticated fall scent. So I do get a little hint of cinnamon, but I mostly get this kind of woodsy, spiced incense vibe. It's really, really nice, kind of mysterious, a little subtle, but I think this one will be really, really pretty when it's warm. So I did want to pick up a few bars of that to have on hand for the fall. And then I did pick up a few bars just from the regular fall winter catalog that retired. So I picked up two bars of Blackberry Spice. I didn't end up putting this one in my club. I think that we'll probably see it back next fall, but this is a very, very nice, again, kind of spiced, deep blackberry scent. Really, really sophisticated. And then I also picked up two bars of eucalyptus wreath. This is a very fresh, kind of zingy, minty eucalyptus scent. This is a really, really nice one for the winter. I hope that we'll see it back next year. I'm not sure if we will, so I did want to get a couple bars of that one. And then I picked up one bar of frosted vanilla. I'm pretty sure that we'll see this one back next year. This is kind of a winter version of Bonfire Beach to my nose. It does smell a little smoky, but you do get this kind of cozy vanilla, a little um, hint of mint as well. So it is quite nice for the winter. And then I picked up a bar of cedar cider. To be honest, I'm a little worried about cedar cider. This is just an old scent um, and you know how Scentsy has just been ruthless with kind of updating the lineup for the catalogs. But this one is again, just a very sophisticated, crisp, almost masculine cider scent with that cedar note. It's very crisp and I just think it's a really, really nice one for the fall. My family really likes that scent, so I did want to have a backup bar of that one. And then this scent did not retire, but I did want to stock up on it for the spring. It's one of my all-time favorites, Amazon Rain. My mom also wanted a bar of this one. This is such a unique scent and I absolutely love it, kind of starting in March and then going into the spring and summer. This is a very, very unique scent. So you do get kind of this sweet melon, but there's a little kind of tanginess from a citrus note. It's also really, really well balanced with kind of a sweet, almost vanilla type scent. 
it's really, really nice. It's a great performer. It's very unique to Scentsy and I love that one. And then from the Scentspirations collection, I did pick up three bars of Mango Margarita. This was my favorite of the twists on Go Go Mango. I think that this one is sold out and I think the collection itself is sold out, but you can still get Mango Shortcake, Mango Wildflower, and Go Go Mango. I'm not sure if they're planning on restocking this one, but this is so, so nice. This is very bright and zesty. It almost smells like it has a little bit of pineapple in it to me, but it's really, really nice. I love the combination of the mango with the citrus. Very zesty, very bright and juicy for the summertime. So love mango margarita. And then I did pick up some scent circles. So I picked up a scent circle in cashmere and corduroy. This is a really great performing scent circle. I hope that we'll see it back next year. I think this scent is popular enough that we should. And then I also picked up two Arctic Kiss. This is one of the best performing scent circles I've ever tried. This one just keeps going and going. I love the fragrance. So I hope that we'll see this one back next year, but I did want to have two in my stash. And then my husband said he might be ready for a scent circle in his truck. So I did pick him up a Mystery Man scent circle. This is still available and a white amber antique scent circle. This one is still available as well. And then kind of going out on a limb, I did pick up a pink coconut scent circle. I think that this one has sold out already. Um, I didn't love it in the wax, but I had really, really high hopes for this scent. So I did want to give it a try in the scent circle and we'll see how that one does. All right, and then I picked up a few other things that retired at the end of February. I did pick up six of the body washes in Candy Crave. My husband and I actually really like the body wash from Scentsy. He really likes the scented body washes and this is just such a nice, light, sweet scent. I'm kind of sad to see it go. So I did pick up six of those and I decided to get a few tubs of washer whiffs in some of the retiring scents. So I did pick up Amazon Rain. I thought this one would be really nice for the spring and summer. And then I also picked up Coral Waters. There was just something about about this one that sounded like it would be very fresh and bright and pretty for the summertime and I really like the packaging on that. I think that is so pretty so um, I decided to pick that up. If I really fall in love with this I hope that we will see it in a clearance section or flash sale and then I might be able to stock up on both of these. And then something that I am really excited about, I did decide to pick up the limited time dish soap in Daydream Oasis. That is really, really pretty packaging. Um, this just sounded like it might be really nice for the spring and summer. I am trying desperately to get through the dish soap that I'm using now, which is evergreen and grapefruit. It's like the dish soap that will not end. I don't love that scent. I don't know, there's just something about it that smells very kind Kind of sour to my nose so I've been trying to use extra <laughs> when I've been doing my dishes but like I said it just will not end so I might put it away until next year and try this one. Ooh, this is very light kind of fresh aquatic I think this has melon and then um, kind of like a I think pear leaf and maybe lily a floral note but yeah this is just kind of light aquatic I didn't know if a scent like this would kind of weird me out in the dish soap just because it is very kind of floral and perfumey but I think it might be kind of nice for the spring and summer so I'm really excited to try that and then just a couple other things I did pick up a pack of cotton cleanups and the last thing I picked up is a diffuser so this is just the diffuser without a shade um, I really have my eye on the wonder diffuser shade which is the new kind of um, natural woven looking shade that came out with the spring summer catalog so 
I am planning on placing my first order of the spring summer catalog on Monday and I'm going to add that in. I thought that that would look really, really pretty in my office. Right now I just have one diffuser like this that's in my bedroom and I thought that that one would look so pretty in my office. So I'm really excited to pick that up. So that is everything that I decided to stock up on at the last minute from the fall winter catalog. I would love to know if there were any last minute things that you picked up as well and maybe what you are super excited for for the upcoming spring summer catalog. So thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a really fantastic weekend and I will see you next time.